So this was the season one finale. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. Rock music, playing the guitar, learning the construction of great songs, answers to your questions. Travis from Indiana asks, I would love for you to give a lesson on Black Slug. Also, talk about what influenced you guys in writing that song. This is probably one of our heaviest tracks. Although it might not be obvious on first listen, this song is deeply rooted in the blues. The lyrics are clearly in the blues canon, but with a 21st century schizoid twist. And as we'll see here, there's many other musical elements influenced by that genre. Starts in the key of A, but the majority of this song is in the key of E. And the main riff is made up of four parts. I'll just play it. I'll just play it clean first. <laughs> So it hints at different scales in each of the four parts of the riff. The Phrygian. The Mixolydian. The Aeolian or natural minor. And then E double harmonic. Double harmonic scale is the first part is Phrygian, which is minor, second part, Mixolydian. third parts natural minor <coughs> and the last part uh, double harmonic is actually a major scale because the switching between major and minor gives it that unsettled feel it's also linked closely to the blues influence where players will frequently play minor pentatonics over major seventh chords, dominant major seventh chords. This is played in the heavy sections with the big muff on, with additional slides and some pinch harmonics, something like this. <laughs> six that is that it's a count of six like a standard blues beat kind of one two three four five six but on each of those notes you've got swing so it's one a two a three a four a five a six so you could equally call it 18 eight compound time because we've got six groups of three so one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a So another blues influence is that the main chord pattern is actually a twelve bar. So we play the riff in E over four bars. If you imagine the riff is actually two bars. <laughs> lots of those then we move it up to A and everything's modulated so it's exactly the same hand positions on the guitar Uh, 
I can't hear you from time to time. So it's worth noting that that B and A count actually changes to a 4 there, so we're going... follow a classic A A B pattern again it's a blues trope so I'll do the first verse with the big muff arm and the singing uh, here comes the black Between the two 12 bar verses, we have this uh, kind of bridge section where it's just the A riff again. The drums have changed to double times to make 12 bars of 6 A. So you have kind of three bars of 6 A, or six bars of 6 A. Over. <laughs> is just the main riff in A without the last part. So I've tended to start going to that A as opposed to that A just so you can give it a bit of wobble. So then we've got the main vocal melody, which is actually that harmony. So that's... I'll find you never you So that emphasises those changing scales we've seen earlier do the second verse guitar, that'll be an E. See how those scales come out there. Be... complex parts rhythmically. The drums are six eight or swing twos and all the other instruments play this kind of synchronized hybrid polyrhythm over the top. The main concept is taking a rhythm of five but playing only the first three notes up and down. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So if 
you think of it as a pattern of five over six. humanity at cosmicskull.org forward slash join I'm sad to say that this is the last episode in the first Answers in Your Soul video series. The Cosmic Family has grown so fast that we're actually relocating to Rainbow Lodge. We've covered all of the singles here but rest assured we'll be back soon to answer more of your questions and look at some of the deep cuts from the albums thus far. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when season two comes out. So this was the season one finale. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon.